Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another very ill-prepared Thursday Thoughts. Um, but this one actually I think is a pretty good one. It's going to be brief, but it's a, it's a good topic, but one that I, um, I guess I kind of have a hard time relating to, and that's the holiday season. It is the beginning of the holiday season. It is the beginning of November, so Halloween just finished. Um, which Halloween always seems to mark the beginning of the holiday season for me. Um, and then, of course, you have Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, and, you know, New Year's, all the other holidays coming, you know, early next year. But um, I do hear a lot, and it's not just chronically ill people. I I, I guess there's, I don't know if it is sort of just um, like a stereotype that people get you know, depressed around the holidays. Um, I've never truly understood that. Um, I, even with my chronic illness, I have never been one to get um, very depressed around the holidays. I actually find that I feel the opposite. I feel a bit better. I'm distracted because, you know, there's things going on. Um, you know, we have people over sometimes for the holidays and that kind of thing. But even when I am alone during the holidays, which happens often, um, I'm not depressed. So in a way, I kind of feel that this is a vlog that, that might not be relatable to a lot of chronically ill people, but um, it, it was something that I still wanted to touch on anyways. So I don't really, I don't necessarily do anything in particular to keep myself from getting depressed. So I'm not really sure if I could offer advice or like a how-to you know, how to not be depressed or how to, you know, uh, stay cheery for the holidays because it, it's not that I'm super cheery or super happy during the holidays. I just don't suffer from the level of depression that I hear a lot of people do suffer from. And that can be, again, a, a chemical situation. I know there's people that suffer from seasonal depression regardless of whether there's holidays or not. Um, but there are also some people that suffer from loneliness, you know, so, you know, there's all these different, you know, themes that run through the holiday season, like, oh, it's cuffing season, which means you start coupling up with someone because you don't want to be alone for the holidays. Um, but I, I do sometimes find the solitude refreshing. So I kind of wanted to just briefly talk about how I feel during the holidays and things that I've done during the holiday season. Not necessarily in an effort to perk myself up, but just things that I've seen that I do. Um, and maybe these are things that have helped me get through the holiday season a lot better than others. So I really, um, I, I this is a piece of advice that I, I do hate for um, when people tell me, oh, you just have to change your perspective or you just have to look at things differently. But, um, inadvertently I have done that so there have been times when you know my family will leave me here by myself because I can't go you know to our in-laws place you know to do Thanksgiving over there or to do Christmas or whatever um, I kind of have to stay put at home so you know I'm kind of alone but one of the things that has helped me deal with this is um, not deliberately you know, changing my perspective, but being grateful that, you know, I'm sometimes I'm glad that I don't go along because it's going to be a hassle. Um, it's going to be a hassle for me health wise. Um, it's going to be a hassle sometimes because there is, you know, a lot of family drama that circulates during the holidays. So I've been able to avoid uh, quite a bit of drama because of my illness. I've been able to stay at home and then when my family comes back, they tell me the whole story about whatever craziness happened. Um, so that sort of kind of flipping the script on that and sort of looking at how, um, I've avoided certain situations by not being involved in them, uh, it does help. Um, and it's, like I said, it's something that I, that I didn't do consciously. It just, you know, just when people come back, you know, from their holiday outings and they start complaining and it was horrible and this and that, and I'm just kind of grateful that I didn't have to go through all of that. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next point. Um, enjoy your solitude. I, 
I am an introvert. I do enjoy being by myself. I know a lot of people do not enjoy being alone, especially during the holidays, but because I do live with my parents because of my illness, um, I, I don't get a break from them very often. Um, they do work, but they are here usually, you know, in the afternoons, you know, they are here a lot. So when they, you know, go off on a holiday outing to their in-laws or wherever, it's a nice break for me. And I can sort of just sit back, read a book, you know, do whatever I need to do around the house and just kind of enjoy the peace and quiet. And again, the lack of drama, you know, I don't have to deal with in-laws or noisiness or kids running around and that kind of thing. And there are people that love that. There are people that love the hustle and bustle of, you know, Black Friday and the malls being full and all of that. Um, I'm not one of those people. So, you know, I, my illness has sort of been beneficial in that way. And again, that's also part of flipping the script and looking at things from another perspective. Um, and as I was saying, um, I, sometimes I will read books. I, one year I took up knitting. I learned how to knit, uh, during the holiday season. Um, I read the Game of Thrones series, which is, you know, these enormous books. So also uh, keeping busy or staying distracted during the holidays can be very, very helpful. I find the holidays themselves are very distracting. Um, just because people are putting up decorations and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Um, but I will do things myself to sort of stay distracted. Last year, I put up the Christmas tree all by myself, which I probably won't do again, and I don't recommend it for someone that is chronically ill. It can be pretty dangerous. But it was something that I decided to do as a surprise for my family. And, um, you know, I put the tree up by myself, and it was nice. It, you know, everybody was really happy because we had a really rough season last year with my nephew's uh, leukemia diagnosis. So it was kind of a cheerful, um, a cheerful moment. Um, but that it just, it, I did it also for myself so that I wouldn't just be sitting and thinking about, you know, my illness and how, you know, things weren't moving forward or that kind of thing, it, you know, and a, a lot of us, you know, can't really do something that elaborate, like putting up a Christmas tree, but you can definitely read books, take up knitting, coloring, um, vlogging would be a good thing. You know, all these different little things that you can do to sort of keep your mind off of, you know, whatever loneliness you feel or isolation. Um, I, and I like, like most other things that I've talked about, you know, in order to sort of stave off the depression and sort of the anxiety of the chronic illness, stick to your routine as much as you can. If you go for a walk every day, continue going for your walks, you know, during, during the holiday season. Um, you know, stick to your routine, stick to your schedule and sort of maintain, to me, the holiday season sometimes is just like any other time of the year. And that also will help to diffuse, um, any kind of specific loneliness or feelings of isolation. Cause I just think of it as, you know, yeah, there's, there's the added distractions of, you know, Santa Claus and decorations and that kind of thing. But it's also just this another time of the year for me. Um, and so I, sometimes I just stick to my routine and pretend it's like any other day. Um, but also another thing is to treat yourself a little bit during the holidays. I will allow myself a little bit more sweets, you know, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, have, you know, a cookie or whatever, especially if you're on a restricted diet like I am, you kind of want to give yourself um, a little bit of leeway to do something, you know, out of the ordinary. Don't overdo it. That's one thing. Do it in moderation because you can make yourself sick and you don't want to be sick during the holidays, but treat yourself a little bit. Let yourself, you know, indulge just a tiny bit. And of course, don't dwell on what you can't do. Um, I have seen people say, oh, you know, well, we used to do this, but now we can't do it because, you know, so-and-so is sick or I'm sick or, and that's just going to breed a lot of negativity during a time of the season that um, is pretty stressful. Holidays can be really, really stressful for a lot of people. Um, the last thing you need is to put more stress on yourself and make it worse for yourself by thinking about what you can't do. 
Try to focus on what you still can do. And like I said, flip the script. You know, if you're by yourself, enjoy being by yourself. One of my least favorite holidays is Thanksgiving. I can't stand Thanksgiving. Um, so I, I might be alone for Thanksgiving, which is great. I, I cause I hate Thanksgiving. Um, so, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to deal with, you know, th all the food and not being able to eat all the food. So if I'm by myself, it eliminates that whole stress you know, of people looking at me and why aren't you eating this? Why aren't you eating that? Or me feeling sick because I ate something that I shouldn't have eaten. It completely eliminates the stress if I'm, you know, if my family goes somewhere else and I'm alone for Thanksgiving. So a lot of times it's just looking at things a little bit differently and saying, okay, you know, well, if I don't feel well, I can just always go and lay down, which is something that I might not be able to do if we had people over for Thanksgiving. So that's my Thursday thoughts for today. Um, I will try to keep coming with more. Like I said, this is the holiday season. It might be a little bit harder, um, but I, I'm really trying hard to be as consistent as I can, even if it's just with something, you know, off the cuff like this. So thank you for joining me, and I will be back again very soon.